Mother Nature has the answer to all the things we need. It is in the purest waters which flow out to the sea. You will find it on the prairies, in the rich and fertile lands. And you will find abundance upon the desert sands. As we seek the magic potion that will help regain our youth, the chemistry of progress and its self-polluted truth had crept into our lives, infecting everything in sight. It took a hundred years, but we finally got it right. So we went back to the desert, the mountains and the plains, and we Welcome asked the ancient people to our weekly wonderful radio show with uh, Zenus Global Health. And today is going to be an absolutely exceptional show. I know you're going to love it. It's going to be absolutely awesome. It's going to be fun, entertaining. We have some special guests with us tonight. We have Dr. George Ritter. Uh, it's going to share with us uh, chiropractic practices. I've been practicing that word. I even had instructions on how to write it properly so I wouldn't mess it up. By one of our other guests, Vanessa, who will be with us tonight, is going to share a little bit about her story and different things that she's experienced. And of course, the one, the only founder himself from Zenus, Doug, will be with us as well tonight as we go through this process. So we got a lot to cover tonight, so I'm, I'm excited to get started. So Dr. George Ritter, I want to get started with you. You know, there's so many Many different rumors and different things and ideas that people have about chiropractic practices could you give us a little history and tell us just a little bit about what that what the practice really is certainly and it's uh, my honor to be here with you all um, uh, chiropractic has been around since vertebrate mammals that is since man exists okay uh, that I'm, we're talking hundred thousand years. We're talking as, as as far as it goes back. It wasn't called chiropractic then, but it was there. Uh, the chiropractic as we know it and practice it was uh, brought rediscovered in 1895 by Daniel David Palmer, um, whose son B. J. Palmer then went on to open chiropractic college and, and teach it uh, to the world. Uh, but at the same time, in 1895, they were doing it in France. Wow. They had the same they had a lot of the same knowledge and they were they were accomplishing the same things. But once it, it once it opened up, of course they had a they had a scuffle with the medical people for a while because they weren't licensed until probably the thirties in, in most states here in, in, in uh, United States. But um, <clears throat> it, it it's been uh, the Egyptians had it, the Greeks had it. In fact, Hippocrates was a naturopath, a vitamin guy, and a chiropractor. <laughs> uh, he has, if, if, if you get back in, into, maybe you could even Google it, but he has, he has uh, page after page of how to align the spine for health. Mm. And, and so it, it, it's, it's actually, uh, it, it's been around forever. And of course, uh, the, what, what, what's going on and what, what the problem is in life is that uh, we have a little bit of a, a dust up with the medical people because for every person that comes into our office, they don't go into the medical office right. and that becomes a turf battle. But yeah, that, that aside, uh, chiropractic, <clears throat> excuse me, chiropractic has, has been licensed in most states uh, since the 30s. I think the last one to get a license was Louisiana in the 50s or 60s. But um, uh, the, the, uh, the, the practice of chiropractic is phenomenal. I mean, it, it's 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 so basic and it's so it, it, it's 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 so miraculous uh, at, it, at the same time. So 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 simple. I mean, the the practice of chiropractic and adjusting the spine, uh, you have to be good with your hands. Mm -hmm. And there are 50 different uh, techniques ranging from from actually popping the bones to much more subtle techniques. Um, uh, non-force techniques, uh, and that that sort of thing. That that so anybody, whether they're uh, after a good solid adjustment or if they're after some finesse, they can find a chiropractor that'll do that for them. And chiropractic has expanded wonderfully over the last 50, 60 years regarding the different techniques. Now in the 30s, 
Um, when I went to chiropractic college in, I, I went in 1975, I went to Cleveland Chiropractic College in Los Angeles. It was called Cleveland because that was Carl Cleveland the first mm. uh, that opened it in Kansas City, and he opened it. Uh, uh, he, was, he was right in the forefront of, of, of chiropractic, and he was taught actually by B.J. Palmer. So I, I have the knowledge from, from B.J. Palmer uh, coming, coming right through him. Now he was 75 years old in 1975 when I, when I uh, uh, learned from him, and then his son took over as he died and got out of the business, and et cetera. So it's it's been it's been really a, a wonderful um, uh, revelation. And then there's also a fellow named Major. That was his first name, Ma Major Bertrand D. Jarnett in Omaha, who who in the same era opened up a whole nother type of, of chiropractic. Now, chiropractic basically is the adjustment of the vertebral spine in order to relieve pressure on the nerves that exit the spine. And we have many sets of nerves. Each nerve trunk that comes out between each bone is about 300,000 fibers. So you have 24 vertebra and you have 25 pair of nerves that come out through there. And these nerves then go to the skin, the muscles, the organs, and that that's that's a that's a typical that that that's a really important part of chiropractic okay. because a lot of chiropractors these days, um, they're they're they they're just people that have a bad back. Oh my! In fact, I did today. A man came in, he lifted wrong. I had to fix him, and it's going to take several times through because the body has to understand yeah. how to be fixed, and, and 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 it's just like uh, learning any any uh, like the C scale on a piano. It's only, it's just like learning. The body has to figure it out and learn it all over again, but that's why we have several visits going visits, okay. to chiropractic for a business. But that, that's only the, the surface. What's really exciting about chiropractic is the, the organic, the, the, the inside things that you can do for people. You can get their livers working better. You can get their pancreas working better. You can get them thinking better, mm. which we might want to do for some people in government these days <laughs> and uh there this this major d jarnett that i talked about has has had a, a, he he invented a uh a technique called chiropractic manipulative reflex technique and uh, abbreviated cmrt and that uses reflexes in the body and that that's a whole nother story but using this technique with the reflexes i have pulled people out of migraines caused by an overloaded pancreas, an overloaded liver, and I've even helped women that that get a migraine uh, commensurate with their cycle. Mm, okay. And boy, do they like that. Yeah. Yes. You know, I mean, they're they're. I, I, in fact, I had a woman, 35 year old woman, three days a month, she was just down and out. I mean, just a dark room, just terrible migraine. And then she was even getting so bad that two weeks later during ovulation, she was getting a migraine. So. She was in for an automobile accident at the time, so I had some time to work with her, and, and we worked on this reflex business for this uh, for these migraines. By the time she was well from the auto accident, she was also not getting any mm -hmm. migraines anymore. She mm -hmm. was totally uh, relieved of that that problem. So th that, and it's going to be a permanent situation. Wow, it's not going to be taking a <coughs> pill and we can get over this one, then we'll wait till next month and take another pill mm -hmm. or another something. So that's what's so great about chiropractic now. I'm a person who likes to talk about maintenance because a person goes for five years without an adjustment. What are you kidding me? What, are you crazy? You know, I mean, that's like, that's like running a car and not lube and oiling mm, right. it for 100,000 miles. I mean, you wouldn't do that, but people do that with their body all the time. And so chiropractic is, is it's important to, to keep the body uh, perking along uh, once a month, once a quarter, once okay. a year, something. That sort of thing. So tell me, what, what would you say is, when you were talking about these turf wars that went on between your regular medical doctors and chiropractic, so what, would you, what's the, what, would, what is the major difference for someone who may not have that experience between the two? Sure. Uh, the, medical, the medical profession, along with the, with the uh, pharmaceutical industry, uh, rely on a condition to exist in order to treat it. Uh, they need to make a diagnosis, and hopefully the correct one, which at best only happens 50% of the time. Wow. But you have to make a diagnosis so you know what pill to give them or what procedure to use. I mean, I, when I first started in chiropractic in 78, the, the, the orthopedic surgeons were still doing exploratory surgery. I mean, they were, they were cutting in to see what they could find. Wow. Please. <laughs> so, so 
the the philosophy of of the medical establishment is you need a diagnosis so that we can we'll have an examination we'll do a history and then we'll do a diagnosis and then we know what to give you for the problem well chiropractic in its purest sense is 180 degrees away we adjust the spine and allow the body to heal itself because the wow. only thing to heal the body in this world other than God, if that's what you'd like to use, is the body itself. Wow, the okay. body is the only way. The, the body heals itself. Now, if you can facilitate that healing, that's fine. But taking a pill doesn't facilitate anything except the way you feel. Okay. So you take some of the pain away. You take some of the swelling down. You make up for some of the chemicals or the enzymes that the body isn't making. And, and, and of course, then now you're trapped into doing that for the rest of your life because it doesn't fix anything. But in chiropractic... Uh, like like the uh, like this thing with the with the migraines uh, with the woman's cycle, it's over. There will be no more trips to the pharmacy, no more trips to the doctor for a prescription for something strong to take the pain away. Right. Perfect. Well, I like that. That makes sense. And you know, Doug, I've heard you many, many, many times talk about how the body has the power to heal itself in nature. You know, we're born with that. Would you mind expanding a little bit on that for us? Well, it's, uh, of course, that's our, from the premise of our whole philosophy, you know, Randy, uh, I believe that God made no mistakes when he created us. He created a perfect piece of equipment. It's only through a lifestyle of excesses and abuses and the fact that we're not good stewards of what we're given that the body gets out of balance. And disease is just that. It's a body out of balance, disease. If you can restore the balance in the body, you can eliminate the disease. And, uh, and of course, and it's recognizing that with that, that, that body, he also gave us that perfect piece of equipment. He gave us everything in nature can be found in order to restore balance. In other words, okay. uh, to create energy, vitality. We were never meant to be sick. We were never meant to be not feeling good. You know, uh, everything is here. The, but you see, we've got in the habit, and of course, it's part of our capitalistic uh, 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 philosophy yes. and, and the fact that we're looking for money all the time. And, and so what's happened is that through corporate America, they found ways to, to uh, alter uh, uh, food, you know, instead of taking natural food, now we're eating a lot of bleached sugars, a lot of synthetics and that, that the body has a wisdom and it recognized that that's not real food and so it's targeted for elimination. It can never help. So food, Hippocrates, uh, of course, Dr. Ritter was talking about Hippocrates and Hippocrates made a statement. He said, let food be your medicine and let medicine be your food because in complete whole food, you have all the constituents that the cells need in order to create the enzymes mm. that can restore the balance in the body. Wow, well, thank you. And, you know, I, I, it's really pretty amazing to me because I hear stories all the time based on people coming into our office. And one of the special guests that we have with us today uh, came into our office the Friday after Thanksgiving. And uh, she had a pretty, uh, from what I understand, I wish I would have been here to, to see it, but I understand she looked kind of gray. But you know what? I, I don't want to tell the story. I'd rather Vanessa tell her own story. So, Vanessa, if you don't mind, share with us what, what was going on for you that day that you stumbled in the day after Thanksgiving to this office. Thank you, Randy. Well, I've been sick most of my life um, since I can remember as a little girl growing into teenage years with intestinal problems and um, and, and stomach problems and um, just going to doctors always being in the hospital and them calling it well you have a spastic colon you have this it's your nerves blah 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 and giving me pills and pills and pills mm. and pills and I went to naturopathic doctors and holistic doctors as well and there was to no avail there was nothing you know done about it so i was going to churches and this last church i went to they prayed over me for about two two months and then they said well we have this one place to take you <laughs> because their nephew or their grandson had well it's not so funny but he had the same problem IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. 
and that could go into many, many, many horrible things. And they operated on him and took out half of his, or uh, approximately, I don't want to lie, but a uh, uh, portion of his intestine. Wow. And then he found out about Optimum Detox after the fact. And now he lives by it, swears by it, and takes it every day of his life. So they took me here as a last resort, and I, I, was, I walked in, I... I, I was emaciated. I hmm. couldn't keep nothing down. The doctors told me, just go on a bland diet. And they gave me $600 worth of medications to take every month. And it didn't do any good. And I would call them up, and I was on the floor. And they said, said to me, well, just keep, keep on, double it, double the medication. Wow. And... That when I bought the product, I was like, uh, uh, "Help me!" I was trying anything, and I took the product home. I bought two bottles. Three days later, I was in this office, and I was healed. I could not believe it to wake up in the morning with no pain. It 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 ruined my whole life. I couldn't work, I couldn't hold down a job, and I've met so many people with these problems, with IBS, and it can turn into celiac, then the doctor told me he wanted to operate, and it turned into celiac or cancer, which I've met people like that, and, but until I, I started this, seven months I'm pain-free. Wow. From wow. IBS, seven months. That's and I, amazing. It, 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 I feel like I am reborn. I've never felt like this in my entire life. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get back to you in a second. Sure. Doug, I'm just, you, you got to tell me, man. You, you, you have to be able to tell me, how did that happen? I mean, seriously, how does, how does that happen? I mean, because I know, first of all, let me make this really clear for everybody out there. Our products do not heal anything. Okay? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to make that really clear. But tell me, how did that happen, such a quick turnaround? Well, you know, it's been our experience. I've been, uh, when Vanessa's talking about our flagship product, which is the Optin Detox, it's probably the most potent, powerful ant, uh, 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 adaptogen in the herbal world. In other words, uh, that's a product that's, that's derived from a complete whole extraction of a specific uh, yucca called the Shadegra, or more commonly referred to as Mojave yucca. And so nature's endowed it with special characteristics because uh, it, its environment is Mojave Desert, which is deemed uh, arguably to be the single most stressed uh, environment anywhere in the planet. It holds a record of the highest recorded temperature ever in history in the world. It's got freezing in the winter. You get tons of snow in the winter. You got wind. You get insect attacks. You got uh, a flash floods. You got drought conditions. A plant might go a year or two, not even mm. see moisture. This plant doesn't just survive, but it thrives and flourishes because of these special constituents nature is endowed it with. So it's known as an anti stress. So it's able to reduce stress and help to restore balance. Okay. And so that's exactly what it did. What happens with irritable irritable uh, bowel syndrome uh, or or another thing that uh, that she had was diverticulitis. Anything ending in itis means inflammation <laughs> of. Okay. okay. It's like arthritis, inflammation <laughs> of the joints, colitis, inflammation of the colon. So anyway, so it's 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 an inflammatory condition. And so the Optimum Detox, the yucca extract, has an abundance of natural occurring anti-inflammatories. But the other thing it has is nature's endowed it with is natural occurring plant steroids. These are not anabolic steroids or synthetics like we hear of athletes sometimes using. Mm. But these are a metabolic or natural occurring steroid. And in nature, their function is to increase the ability of aerobic bacteria to produce more enzymes so it motivates them so the additional increased amount of enzymes can more effectively break down wow. anything toxic in the gut into tiny particles that now the body can eliminate because we've often heard in the alternative health field that life and death begins in the colon because that's usually where the accumulation of poisons take place it's the absorption of the poisons in the bloodstream mm -hmm. that goes on to create uh, different degenerative and chronic conditions uh, over and above what it creates in the gut itself. So it's this is a, a, a the 
as a product that facilitates, as Dr. Ritter was talking about, it facilitates the body in doing its job. It doesn't heal. It's simply the body does the healing, but it helps the body. It's a tool provided synergistically blended by nature with all these constituents. Now, uh, the other thing it has in it is... Uh, a soap molecule called saponins and it's important we understand because these saponins can help cleanse the gut wall eliminating the causes of the irritation that's causing the inflammation it also binds with anything toxic in the gut such as bile salts bile acids the precursors to both colon and pancreatic cancer it also binds with uh, uh, intestinal cholesterol which is your low density uh, low uh, density lipid uh, you, uh, b the bad cholesterol so creates a molecule that's too large to pass through the gut walls of the body is forced to eliminate these toxins out of the body so what it does in effect is, is it eliminates the cause of most of these conditions and now it puts the body in a better posture so it can absorb nutrients that are necessary to help the healing process. Wow, okay, that sounds real, that, that's amazing. Dr. Riddle, let me ask you a question in terms of irritable bowel syndrome. How, I, I know you also are familiar with the optimum detox, but what other techniques or different things have you seen uh, with your practice that would be, would assist someone with, uh, with that? There exists a modality called a soft laser, and this this uh, modality is a, it's a laser light that scans. It isn't just a point, but it actually scans. It has two um, ninety degree off um, uh, prisms that that allow this light to scan the body. So you can it'll scan the whole gut, or it'll scan the face, or or whatever part you want to talk about. Uh, a, a low, a low, um, a, a, a cold laser, which what it is what it's called. It doesn't cut and it doesn't burn. Uh, you don't even feel it on your on your skin. But what it does, it stimulates the mitochondria in the body to either replicate and or get bigger. Now the mitochondria, the mitochondria is the engine of the cell. It's what it, it's where the energy is, the ATP. It's all in there. And you can imagine, mm -hmm. you take a little Ford Fiesta and drop a V8 in it. Well, that's what happens when you laze with a cold laser the body. The, the uh, mitochondria grow and they, and, they, and they do more of what they're supposed to do, which in most cases coming into my office is to heal. Okay. And uh, so, uh, in fact, I discovered this a little bit by accident. I, I was, it, we use it for, for conditioning the, the skin so the, the women's faces look a little younger. Uh, we use it for, for joint pain, many things. But I started using it uh, pretty early on for my, uh, my lady lawyer came in. She had just acquired diverticulitis. And boy, she was having a tough time. She couldn't keep anything down. Everything was loose. She was out of control. And two treatments on this laser fixed her. I mean, she was good for 10 years. She came back after 10 years, and we did it again. Okay. But, uh, you know, you have to watch what you eat, of course, when you have diverticulosis, diverticulitis. But so I had another woman in, and she had IBS. And we put it on her gut. And within two or three visits, there were no more complaints. That was it. And I've, I've also treated leaky gut syndrome with it. I've treated uh, Crohn's. Um, uh, uh, all that sort of stuff. Wow. So, and, I, and I know you've also used the Optimum Detox. Tell me a little bit how that would play into account. Oh, I, you know, and it, it, it's so great having such a wonderful, uh, um, uh, versatile product as Optimum Detox in my practice. Uh, uh, one one fellow came in uh, not too long ago. He's about 40 years old, uh, Latino fellow, and he liked to lift weights. And he had a pain in the middle of his, between his shoulder blades so bad he couldn't lift weights. And so I did my examination, and I found an area on his spine which correlated with his stomach. And I pushed on and said, ow, that hurts, that hurts, that's where it is. I said, what, do you have stomach problems? You're having a problem? He says, I'm taking medication for an ulcer. And, oh, okay, well, that was cool. So uh, my treatment was to adjust the area and give him optimum detox and put in lots of water mm -hmm. and take the optimum detox. He came back in a week. No more medication, lifting weights, out of pain, and there you are. So, wow. so you know, it, and, and it might have happened with Optimum Detox alone, I don't know, but certainly having several uh, angles of attack yeah. for, for a problem like that is, is better than just 
being stuck with one. Well, absolutely, and especially if you have such a, a natural way to, to go about that. And, you know, Vanessa, when we talked earlier uh, today, you were sharing with me some situations that you've also experienced with uh, cramps, charley horses, and different things that were going on in your body. Could you share a little bit with us about what was going on? Absolutely, there? Randy. And I do want to uh, correct myself from before. I wasn't healed, but the body healed itself. Yeah from our um, guru here, Mr. Doug, <laughs> correcting me, uh, the body did heal itself through his product. And I was just so flabbergasted. I was like flying on air after three days. But anyway, what happened with me was it, I, I took it for granted that it, my father always had charley horses and um, cramps in his, in his calves and would wake us up in the middle of the night. And we would be all running with hot towels and I'm, I'm being a massage therapist uh, from New York. I would be rubbing his leg and, and he would be screaming in pain. So this happened to me approximately 10, 15 years ago, approximately. And um, I didn't know what to do. I went to doctors. I went to naturopaths. I went to, oh, you must be low on potassium. You must be low on this. And all of a sudden, after the optimum detox of three days, I says, I want to try all the products. <laughs> this did this after three days. No way, because I read on the Internet, there's no cure for IBS. That's how they, they, they pronounce it. That's how they put it out. And so I tried all of them. And then all of a sudden, after a few weeks, it's been about six and a half months now that I haven't had not one trolley horse since I've been taking the power. Wow. Okay. Well, yes. that's that's really good to know. And one of the things that we really would like to talk a little bit more about, Doug, and maybe you can give us a little bit more background on the power, that pro the product. Because I've I've myself, I like to work out. As everybody knows who knows me knows that I practically live in a gym. And what I've noticed is, <clears throat> excuse me, lifting weights now is easier. My breathing is easier. Right. Like I used to use an inhaler. I don't even use my inhaler anymore when I go to the gym. So tell us a little bit more about that product. Well, the uh, the power and you'll notice that the spelling on it is a little unique. It's P-O-W-R-E and that stands for proprietary optimum watermelon rind extract because it's a derivative. It's a proprietary extraction uh, where we can uh, concentrate the uh, the rind. Now the rind typically isn't eaten. Most people discard the rind because it's bitter tasting. Well that's commonly found in amino acids and it just so happens that the rind of the watermelon is the richest source of an amino acid called citrulline known to man. And citrulline is critical. Uh, it's, it's referred to as a non-essential amino acid because the body creates it as well as we get it in our diet. Uh, I think of it more as being essential because the body doesn't create enough of it, okay. especially throughout the aging process. So it starts to reduce its production. And the reason why this is so critical is because citrulline is converted by the magic and the wisdom of the body into what we refer to as nitric oxide. Mm. Okay, and nitric oxide now it's uh, it's called the miracle molecule. Uh, it's it's won a Nobel Prize, you know, uh, literally the people that discovered it because it's so critical. It actually produces three different types of enzymes, nitric oxide. So it works on the brain, for example. It also works on uh, anaerobic uh, pathogens or viruses. The other thing it does is it also relaxes blood vessels, uh, causing them to expand uh, more vigorously so that we get increased blood and oxygen flow. This increases energy right away because we get more blood, more well, oxygen. Right. If you think about the logic behind it, the other thing it does is that anybody with cardiovascular disorders who got high blood pressure, it lowers your blood pressure. Wow. Okay. It also has the ability, it, it uh, eliminates uh, things like lactic acid or carbon dioxide, ammonia. So for athletes now, and we're starting to get a lot of athletes excited about this, professional athletes, because recovery time is shortened significantly. 
It also replaces things like Viagra because by increasing blood flow to the genitalia, it becomes a herbal Viagra. You don't have any of the side effects associated with a prescription drug like okay. Viagra. So it's nature's Viagra. Wow, that's pretty amazing. And you know what? I'm going to switch gears a little bit here because I wanted to just talk about. <clears throat> you know, I wanted to talk about something that we talked about probably a few weeks ago, Doctor Ritter. And one of the things that it just really intrigued me, you were talking about a study that you were working on that you wanted to perform around ear pain and ear aches for children, and your story was so compelling with what happened to you and, and how this all came about. I really would love if you would just share with us a little bit about that and how that came about, because I think it's something that's really interesting to, to hear about. Well, thank you, Randy. I'd be happy to. Um, <clears throat> I was living a pretty normal life uh, as a child up until about four or four and a half years old. And I was in the backyard with a bunch of kids and there was a little girl on a swing and she was swinging backwards and I turned right into the swing and got it right in the forehead big old goose egg, I went home crying and all this, and about six, eight months later, I started getting earaches. I had mm. never had an earache. And I got about four to six earaches a year all my young life, into through junior high school, through high school, and then by college they started turning into sore throats. And then some several years later, got a little down in the bronchioles, and I used to look at the kids, nobody got earaches but me. Why am I getting earaches? Well. Having become a chiropractor, I found out why, because the easiest way to displace the atlas, which is the top bone in the neck, is to hit yourself in the forehead. Mm. It's kind of an Italian phenomenon. <laughs> <Mama mia. laughs> <laughs> and that is the easiest way to displace that bone, and exactly what happened to me in, in spades. I mean, it knocked me over a few times. And so... As a result, I've had four ear surgeries in my adult life. Wow. One on my left because the ear, 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 the eardrum was torn, so they patched it. On the right, I, I developed a cholesteatoma, which is a, a cyst uh, that's an, it's an invasive cyst. So I've had three surgeries here. I've had a uh, mastoidectomy on this side uh, for the last 35 years. I've had a jet plane in my ear all the time, tinnitus, tinnitus, whatever you want to call it. And so I've been very passionate about... Mm. The, the, the role of chiropractic, because when I became a chiropractor, I found out that chiropractic adjustments help earaches. It, it, it wipes it out. So through my 35 years of practice, I've done this over and over again with kids. Well, I, I didn't have enough time or energy, really, to, to put a study together. So what I'm doing, I am, it, with the help of uh, some friends, I am fi I'm, I'm searching for a grant. Okay. Uh, to make a three-year study of the eff efficacy of chiropractic adjustment in fixing earaches. And I want to do 1,000 children, which means I'll probably have to do 1,500 because after three years they kind of disappear. Um, we'll do an adjustment a week for eight to ten weeks, then we'll do one every three months, and we'll follow up with each and every one of them to see how they're doing. And then the idea that the whole thing behind it, other than helping 1,000 kids, is I want to write a paper at the end of the three years to present to the health community, the medical community, everyone. Because when I had my last ear surgery in 91 down at House Ear Institute in Los Angeles, a wonderful place, skilled people, saved my life uh, with, the, with the ear. I mean, it was life threatening. Um, I, I, told them, I told them my story. I said, well, look, when, I'll, I'll come down once a month with my table. I'll set a table up in the room you got down there and give me all your kids. I'll adjust them. They said, write a paper. Wow. And, you know, this was like 10 years ago, and I, that, what do I know? So about four years ago, the, 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 this, this kind of half a scam came through the computer where, all right, there, there's so much money out there in grants. Here, we'll okay. show you how to write for a grant. It's called Notice of Appeal. And I did that, and then they gave me a list of people to ask. Well, nobody's going to give you a grant unless you're a 501c3, which is a nonprofit. So... That's, and plus that, I couldn't pull enough money out of it for salary because of the laws of, of that sort of thing. So I let it drop again. But now I found a person who knows what she's doing. Mm. She's a money raiser. Right. And she's already cornered uh, an entity that will serve as my 501c3 and allow them 
when I when when we get the commitment for the money for me to do what I need to do to 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 uh, uh, support the office to, to support myself and my staff and do this three year study and at the end of the three years I'll be 70 72 years old and I, I that'll be 38 years in chiropractic practice and that that you know I'd like to I'd like that to be kind of a <laughs> you know the, the 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 kind of the crowning achievement of my of my existence yes. you know because I've gone through I've, I've treated thousands of people I've helped thousands of people but to make to make a to make a difference, uh, where where you can show authorities that a thousand children, maybe ninety eight percent, ninety five percent of a thousand children responded positively and don't have to go yeah. to the doctor anymore, and 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 it's it's amazing because seventy percent of 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 a, of a pediatrician's attendance in children is for earache. Wow! And what do they do? They give them antibiotics. Well, there are papers all over the world saying that that's not the thing to do. That, that antibiotics are, are, it is not apropos to give antibiotics to, to most, most earache cases because they'll, they'll resolve. Wow. So, and, and by the way out there, if, if you have a child with an earache and you can't get to me, buy a, a, a product called Kyolic, K-Y-O-L-I-C. It's a garlic product. And just drop a few drops of that Kyolic on the eardrum. It'll put the fire out. Everybody goes back to bed. It'll be fine. So wow. that, that's what I've done. Well, thank you for sharing that. And also, I just wanted to let our listeners know if you have any questions for anyone here today, please feel free to call us at 702-609-7626. Again, that number is 702-609-7626. So if you have any questions at all, please call in and uh, as we wrap up a little bit, I want to go back to you, Vanessa. I really want to go back to you on, you know, just a variety of things that you've talked about. And, you know, you've had an amazing story, amazing turnaround. Your energy level is like off the charts. I'm so proud of you. You've been like really calm because normally you're just so excited about life and the different things that have happened to you. And so I know that if you came across somebody that had some of the issues that you've had or experienced some of the things that you experienced, what would you share with them? What kind of things would be like really critical for you to talk about with them? Well, I've met people in the past when I was very sick in pharmacies, picking up my prescriptions, and they had IBS, and they were telling me, oh, everything I eat, I can't take it, and they were all suffering the same way. What I would do is immediately give them a bottle of detox <laughs> for free to try it out because it was amazing to me that this i've had this all my life and now it's gone it's completely gone and i could eat i was so emaciated and now i could eat um, and uh, my clothes were falling off of me and i'm I, just to wake up in a new body and that I've never really had because wow. uh, I've been sick all my life. I would bring them to try the detox first. I would give them a bottle to a detox first. And then once they would see that, they would want to try everything else because everything does work. Well, you know, it's pretty amazing that you say that because one of the philosophies that we actually have with building our business is giving the product away for somebody to experience it because exactly. I believe if you can give somebody that gift – and the gift of that level of health, they'll determine what's right for them as they move on. One other thing before I let you go, I wanted to ask you about, you said something earlier as well as, as we were coming in about you work around ill people and people that, that have all kinds of things and, 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 and you haven't been affected by that. What do you, yes. what do you equate that Well, to? I take the seafood <clears throat> and I've always 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 had a low tower if someone sneezed i would i wouldn't go near them <laughs> i was always getting sick my immune system was so low from all the pills i was taking to mask all these all these uh, medical issues when i take the, i haven't been sick i've been around people with the flu i've been around people that have been coughing and, and spitting up all kinds of things uh, hospice patients, uh, all kinds of people that have contagious diseases. I don't even put a mask on, and I haven't been sick since I since I've been on all of these products. Wow, that's amazing! And my immune system is through the roof. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, Doug? I know you spend a lot of time talking about the difference of what how our seafood 
is in comparison to what people consider vitamin C. And we have a couple of minutes. Why don't you go into that a little bit for us? Well, again, it's getting back to uh, the philosophy of complete whole food. You see, in nature, you don't find vitamins by themselves. You have to understand the function of a vitamin. A vitamin is a catalyst or an accelerator for enzymes, and it's enzymes that are our life force. That's the electrical, uh, chemical makeup of our body is our enzymes. Uh, everything that's done, all healing, all walking, talking, movement, every activity, every action is a result of enzymes. But enzymes typically are slow workers, okay. so they depend on enzyme or vitamins to speed them up. You're, so always in nature, uh, your food, whole food that's recognized uh, by the body comes in molecules where you've got your, uh, not just your vitamins, but you've got your enzymes, your coenzymes, your minerals, and your trace minerals. They all come as part of a team. Lacking any one of those things, the body recognizes it's not complete. Okay. And it's not, can't be used uh, for healing purposes. As a matter of fact, it's targeted for elimination. The cells are very uh, rigid and they're demanding the exact credentials for every molecule that comes its way. If it's not in total harmony with its needs, it can't be used. So consequently, most people legally, they can buy vitamin C that's really not vitamin C. It's what we refer to as ascorbic acid. And ascorbic acid simply makes up a small portion of a vitamin C molecule. It's part of the outer membrane. It has none of the protoplasm, none of what exists in the, in the, uh, the vitamin itself, the molecule. Mm. So it's limited in anything that it can do. Making it worse is a fact that it comes usually from synthetic sources uh -huh. as well. And again, the body has an innate wisdom and it determines that it's not in harmony with its needs. And so we actually, uh, it's it's harder in the body because now we stress the body because it has to determine a way to eliminate that. Wow. Well, <clears throat> we're almost out of time, but before we go, I want to get back to uh, our guest, Dr. Ritter, and see what kind of what closing thoughts do you have for us as as we wrap this whole process together around healing products, uh, chiropractic, and different things. So, just take us home a little bit. Give us some some. What would you think? What would you say? is critical for someone to just have a full, healthy, vibrant life. <laughs> uh, boy, we can, <laughs> you gave me a five-hour treatise there in two minutes. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to leave, leave you with a story. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with a, a story, an amusing story, okay. because, because uh, you know, things are not always what you think they are. I was a professional musician for 10 years before I became a doctor, and my son... Uh, wanted me to help him with the band. So in 1993, we put a band together. We did a CD. It was a rock and roll thing. Uh, I, w I was with it three years. And in the middle of that, we got a drummer to come in and uh, to, to do a couple of the, of the cuts. And this man, a couple of years before, had fallen off, of, off, of, off of a building 12 feet onto his back. Didn't break anything, but just roughed everything up. Well, within... within Two or three weeks, he was having a terrible, terrible stomach ache, and he would, over for two years he was suffering. He'd go to his orthopedic guy, said, "I've got this stomach ache wasn't here when I when I fell uh, before I fell," and the guy says, "Well, it has can't do anything. Haven't can't have anything to do with that." And he went to his in, to the internist, and he said, "This there has to be something to do with the fall. It couldn't possibly have anything, you know." So this went back and forth, and he's he's up in the middle of the night, just just like uh, Veronica. Vanessa. Emilio, uh, Vanessa, sorry, and okay. and um, <laughs> uh, come to find out, uh, what 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 he said it was it was a, it was a duodenal ulcer. Now there's a gastric ulcer which is in the stomach, but the duodenum is the first 12 inches of the in intestine below the stomach, and that lining on the duodenum is very tender as compared to that heavy duty lining of the stomach. So what was happening? is that the pyloric valve at the bottom of the stomach was not being powered quite right because the fall displaced the bone by the nerve that went to the pylorus. Mm. And so there was a drip, drip, drip. Once all the food and all the digestive food was out, now the stomach is empty, and it dripped this acid right on this terribly uh, sensitive lining of the, of the duodenum. So I figured that out. I 
I palpated his back. I felt down his back. I found the place where the problem was. The way you fix that, you, you lay the person on their back, you put the fist in their back, and you, you create pressure on the top of them, and that, that moves the bone. Wow. And two days later, that was the end of his pain. Forever. I mean, I, followed, I saw him six years later, so it never came back. Then he went crazy. He said, for two years, I've been going to high-priced orthopedic men <laughs> and high-priced internists. I come to band rehearsal, the sax player throws me <laughs> on the floor, and now I'm better! <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that story, and I just, in closing, I want to thank our guest, Vanessa. Thank you so much for really coming in and taking your time to be with us today. And, and Doug, always My sharing pleasure. your wisdom and knowledge, and you, and you do it so eloquently. I I just I don't even know I know it's your passion because you never get tired of talking about it and you really do it in a way that allows all of us to hear it feel it and express it so I want to thank all of our listeners and I want to thank George our wonderful wonderful host or however you want to frame it for uh, bringing us all together and everyone have an absolutely fabulous night and we will see you on Thursday at our meeting for those of you who are local here Thursday at 6 30 and uh, for those of you who are not then we will talk to you next week same bat time same bat channel have a great evening <laughs>